What? I should turn this down. I have my webcam on. I'm gonna explain that in a bit. What's up, my lovely ladies and gentlemen of the world? If you want to skip all the introduction stuff, you don't care about it, I should be looking at the webcam since I have it on. What up, everybody? Um, if you are only interested in the matches, the timestamps will be in the description box below, so you can just click on that, avoid all this explanation part. I tried to stream with the webcam on over Christmas. This is kind of, you know, like a special thing. I don't know if I'm gonna make it permanent, but Open Broadcaster software crashed repeatedly when I used it, and so I want to find out if it is actually the webcam's fault, because obviously that will let me know you can't use the webcam, it crashes Open Broadcaster software for whatever reason. So that's why the webcam is on right now. I tried to put it in like the least intrusive place possible on the screen, uh, so hopefully I, I did that properly in any way. Let's go ahead and get this started. So same rules as last time. I'm not trying to, you know, cut any corners. I'm not trying to avoid characters I don't particularly care about. I'm just going to go in and we're going to hopefully have some fun. And we'll see how it all goes. But that's a bad start. I don't want to see I don't want to see the bag get beat up. Nobody wants to see that. So let me actually just check real quick. Like, so you can't see like you can't see their name, the left person's name. You can't see their rank points. Who cares? And I think, like, like, right there, if you're in the corner, you might miss a little bit. Like, I, I just, I really don't like webcams on fighting games because I feel like the entire screen is so useful. Because, like, one spot that I think would be decent would be right in the middle at the bottom. But in this game, you have the entire grid meter. I don't want to block out the grid meter. That would be silly. And so, like, if I put it in the bottom corner, then I'm blocking out the meter. So this is kind of just the best spot that I could think of to put it and hopefully it works out but we'll see Did she tried to parry i'm not sure it kind of looked like she tried to parry but i don't know what the frame data is on that and whether or not you know how quick the startup is in terms of when she'll actually parry something see that i feel like that's an online only special like if we were offline the person would actually react and punish that but not positive, because obviously I haven't experienced it myself, but it's very reminiscent of teleports in Marvel, where online they were just some of the strongest things you could do, and then if you went to an offline tournament of any sort, everybody just threw those constantly over and over. You could not just teleport on people. It would not work. And that very much looked like... So if it were me, I feel like I could react in time and hit a button and blow up that teleport. Because that happened to me with Izioi. I always thought Izioi's teleports were abnormally strong and very bothersome. And then I played somebody offline and I punished every single one. I was like, oh, okay. I mean, obviously, when they're combined with projectiles, it becomes a, a real issue. And that's exactly the same thing that happened in Marvel, too. But, um... People just doing raw teleports, it's just that's a pure online special that just does not normally work. But there, yeah, that's really, uh, that's really strong for Akatsuki. I wonder what that was, that was weird. Maybe he expected to be on the other side somehow? I'm not sure what that was, but knowing Akatsuki, he probably just dropped like 4,000 damage right there, which you never want to do. I feel like the only real hits we've gotten so far have been... The Tatsus. I hate this. I hate this. Is, this is why. This is why. This is precisely why I dodge this kind of shit. Why I don't pick characters that I don't like and that I think are dull and stupid and dumb. Because even the people that play them are dull and stupid and dumb. Damn it. He can't even combo off his own goddamn overhead! That's such a basic feature of the character! This is the most brain dead shit I've ever seen in my life! Like, I thought Asriel mirror matches were stupid. I thought Tagger mirror matches were wild. This is so dumb! And he didn't even have the balls to do it again. He didn't even have the balls to do it again. That's the most sickening aspect of it. At least I don't have to see another round of this. Thank God that's over. 
I regret the webcam. Because nobody should have to suffer a face of disgust like mine currently is. It's just abnormal. That was just wrong. <sighs> God damn, I hate my life sometimes. Ooh, that was interesting. I wonder if she could have, because I did say high counter. I wonder if she could have gotten a combo off of that. Because that is kind of the Batista special, just being able to combo off of just about anything from anywhere. That's the Batista special. <laughs> Instant overheads are always fair and balanced, especially when they're basically on demand. You don't even have to set up a fuzzy. I wonder how... Do you think that would be fair? In terms, you know, when you're looking at instant overheads, should you have to fuzzy guard them? Or is it okay for characters like Batista in this game, or Rachel in Blaze Blue, and, you know, various other characters in many other games, to just have instant overheads that can hit you while you're crouching? And I'll just, if you don't know what a fuzzy guard is, I'll talk about it in between the rounds, because I do know a lot of the time I mention it, I get some people, this Gordell can't combo for the life of him. Uses meter. I think he could have done the 2-2-C and gotten a combo off of it and maybe have killed because of the additional damage that gives him in that combo. I mean, I'm not positive, but yeah, that was that's a rough way to go. But yeah, like, I feel like every single time I mention Fuzzy Guard, somebody doesn't know what it is or they're coming from a different game. Like, for some reason, every single game has a different definition of a Fuzzy Guard. Like, 3D games have a completely... I don't. E I can't even remember what it is in 3D fighting games uh, that they term fuzzies. But it's not the same at all. And I feel like Smash has their own version of fuzzies. Like, I don't... I don't know. I only know the one definition. It's weird seeing Gordo have such a rough time getting in. It's also strange seeing a Gordo drop every single combo. See, like that. Did it again? I mean, I, I'm not 100% sure because it's been so long since I've played Gordo, but I'm watching his combos and every single time he's doing them, I'm kind of looking like, this person looks way too low in the air to go for that combo route, but he just keeps going for it and I don't really understand. If you're going to prove that you are going, nice punish, if you're going to prove that you are going to consistently drop that kind of shit, stop going for it. That's not fair! He tried to go for a punish there again, but yeah, that doesn't look very punishable. Most beam type moves won't be. Just because they're multi hitting, they last so long. And they're generally plus on block. Did she literally just shoot a dick? Like, the way those steins were kind of organized, it basically was balls and a penis. Just saying. That's, just, that's really not okay. Oh, but Nate, you have to charge. It's a charge move. That makes it okay. Fuck you. <laughs> That's what I have to say to that. It has been a hot minute since I've seen that move. Didn't really seem to do all that much, to be honest. Good tech. Oh, why would you do that? That Gordo has some issues he needs to work out. What was his win rate? I want to see this. Because that was not... The man did not use Gordo in a fashion befitting Gordo. 72.2. That's actually surprising, to be honest. Alright, so Fuzzy Guards. Um, Oh, which one do I want? This one has much higher points, so we're going with this one. It also features my bay, so, you know, that's also a positive. Fuzzy Guardians. So, in fighting games... When you get put, most fighting games, I don't actually, I don't know of any exceptions to this rule, but there probably are some. When you get put into block stun, your character, for the duration of that block stun, is locked into the position they're in. So if you're blocking high, your character will stay standing. Their hit box, or their, their hurt box, will remain the standing hurt box. If you're crouching, then you stay crouching, your hurt box remains the crouching hurt box. 
So you can change your guard during that, but you, the animation that you have on screen will not change. So that's what a fuzzy guard is, is when you force somebody to block high, and then they transition from blocking high into blocking low, and then you use their heightened uh, vertical hurt box to then hit them with an instant overhead. Which, those I feel are fair. Maybe not fair. Fair is probably the wrong word. They actually require effort to do. And they're not, you know, like... They are unreactable, but you're not forced into, like... This is a literal 50-50. I have to guess right here. There is a period, there is a moment where if you are very well versed in blocking, you can properly block a fuzzy and also block a potential low that's going to come out. It's very difficult, but it's not literally just guess here and fuck you. So anyway, this hill is going bonkers. That's a really bad place to be for Ori. Good block, good block, but now she has to deal with it again. Is she not to deal with it one more time? She is! That's bullshit! Oh my god, the Ori blocks! Ah, choked at the end! Blocked for like 15 seconds. Ah, oh, you hate to see that happen. The Veil off her Hild is really strong because it gives her that much uh, free offense. I mean, there was nothing Ori could have done about that. Like, she couldn't have even have Alpha countered any of that. Hilda was too far away the entire time. So yeah, that's a rough position to be in. Ooh, good reaction, I dig it! I'm actually surprised that backdash worked. She didn't block that overhead, her defense is gone. She choked the first round and now it's all over. Ooh, very nice, I dig it! That was really good footsies. She, I think she tried to put out a normal right there. I feel like I saw the sword kind of do a little bit of a jab. Which doesn't seem like a very good decision to make against a character like Hilda. She's trying to... Oh, good shit. I like it. Takes the round off of it. I like this Ori. She's patient. She waits for her moment. Just Sometimes she mucks up the blocking, which obviously you don't want to do. But I really I enjoy seeing people that play patiently. I can't do it online. I can, like, for some reason, I just have some kind of mental block online where I just don't give a shit about trying. <laughs> and so, like, that, I just don't want to play patiently. I just want to hit buttons and not block anything. And then I play offline. I'm like, yeah, I'll sit here for the next 50 seconds and block. No problem. I don't know what it is. I think, I actually wonder how much of it is attributed to just not respecting somebody's capabilities. Like, either they're not good enough and they're gonna fuck something up, or online's gonna fuck something up for them, and thus I'm gonna get my turn, so why bother playing patiently? I'm just gonna, you know, rely on the system to save my ass while I misplay. Man, her blocking was... she blocked that overhead so many times. That's actually a big portion of it, though. Like, I feel like it's easier to block when you're in Sonata, like when you're locked down and you have no choice but to block. There's no, there's no other option for you. There's nothing you can do. You don't have to worry about neutral. You don't have to worry about uh, potentially counterattacking. You are locked down for the next like three seconds. All you have to care about is blocking. To me, when that happens, blocking becomes much easier. It's when all those other parts kind of start to fall together and you have to worry about trying to get out, you have to worry about trying to play your own game, and then you have to worry about defense on top of it, that's when it all falls apart. That is a high point, Lena. Good God. Oops. Forty-seven point six percent win rate, and they were red, right? So, uh, some bad shield blocking right there. <laughs> Worked out. Got the offense, dropped the combo. Good frame trap. Good throw set. Red break. I'm surprised he was shield blocking. Ooh, 
Because generally, I feel like you want to preserve potential shield blocking for, like, reactable things that you know it's going to benefit you with, rather than just trying to throw it out like that. Does shield blocking lock you in to your chosen block? Like, if you shield block and you're crouching and then somebody overheads you, are you locked into the crowd so even if you react in time for the duration of that shield block, you're stuck crouching no matter what? So it basically becomes an unblockable? layer of depth I haven't considered before and that's something that's I feel like that's reactable that's something you can kind of bait out and manhandle if somebody does decide to do that the back dash that's one of the only ways that you can really get out of Eldenum's frame trap pressure and it becomes pretty difficult if she forces you into the corner. That's when things get rough against this character. But until then, she's not terribly difficult to deal with. But he's getting pushed to the corner now. and Life's about to get interesting, that's for damn sure. That combo, 3500 and full corner carry, like, Jesus. Oh, that's right, I forgot Chaos had that dodge. So that actually makes it a lot easier for him against this character. Who cares about blocking? I have a free dodge. Take it where you can. I just noticed Chaos rolls up the legs of his pants. Fucking nerd. Good block, but doesn't matter. That's incredibly plus. Like, he had the ability to dodge out of the corner and still was plus on block after that. Jesus. Doll characters, man. Alright, let's see if she can keep... This is like the fourth time she's pushed him to the corner. And it's never... Okay, there we go. Ooh, oh, dropping combos. You finally managed to pull off some proper mix-up to get a good solid hit. And then she's just not ready for it. It's never how you want these things to go. She's probably dead. I don't think she's getting out of this one. Definitely not anymore. It's so fun. Defense in this game. This is one of the hardest games to play defense on out of any other. Like, even I feel like even Marvel isn't as hard to play defense in. Oh, shit. That's an Eltonum, though. Oh, fuck it. Because I think this is where we started, right? Because I know I didn't record them on Christmas, but... Let me actually, let me just check real quick. I want to be absolutely certain. I mean, I can start this one up. But I want to be absolutely certain I don't have any overlap. So it's possible the timestamps say the 20th, because I recorded it. No, I recorded it the 23rd. I think? Fuck it, I can't remember. Q versus Seth was the first one. Hyde versus Bogner was the second. I didn't see any Q versus Seth, so I'm assuming one of those Enkidu replays is uh, of the same Enkidu player. And so it got overwritten. Because I think it was Enkidu versus Hyde and Enkidu versus Ori? It was available there? I actually really like this Eldenum color. Oh, she gets a, I didn't know she got a full combo off of that. Damn, that does damage, too! Is she dead? That's fucked up! That shit, that was an air throw! That was an air throw! I shouldn't have... Oh, goodness. That was pretty rough. This poor Lena. She got all those points and she's just gonna give them away to this Eldon for free. No challenge. Nothing happening. She's just getting bodied. Oh my I think I think I'm not hundred percent positive on this, but I'm fairly certain that move that Lena put out not Lena. The move that Eldon put out actually pulled her hurt box back. Made the Lena move whiff. And then punished her with the counter hit. Holy shit, that Elton's a B! 
beast! God damn! That's the kind of performance. 1700? Oh no, that's the Lena. The Elnum only has a 54% win rate? It's gonna go beast mode like that? Damn! So let me see. Yeah, so this is the one. So one of these is gonna be a replacement for uh, the Enkidu that was already featured. Because that's how most of these systems work. They only preserve one replay of... A, like, a player can only upload... Oh, God, that win rate. Uh, can only upload one replay at a time. Can only have one on the server. So, I assume the Enkidu player probably uploaded it, and now they uploaded a new one. But I don't think this is the same one. Like, I just... I didn't recognize the name. Yeah, that was way too close to the corner to be able to do that. I don't think this Zinkidu is going to do very well. I'm just calling it right now. I think this Zinkidu is about to get murked. Oh, shit. Oh, my gosh. He gets the setup. He just doesn't react. He just believes it's going to be an overhead. Gets clocked low. Oh, no. This dude has no D. This dude has no defense whatsoever, and he's playing one of the worst offense Ability, capability, whatever. I can't even English no more. This Ori's going in and bodying a dude. Have some mercy. That shouldn't happen. That should not happen. Come on now. Fix his counter. His counter sucks. And that's a big aspect, too, of using his 2-2-B. Um, it's interesting being able to talk about a character I actually know things about. <laughs> so I can actually give like proper analysis about what's going on versus like, oh my god, that's cool. Um, that sucks. But most of the moves, if you use them into... So 2-2-B is precisely neutral on block. It's, I think, the only move... No, it's 5-A is plus. That dude got fucked. Oh my god, he got fucked. I'm gonna watch the other Enkidu replay. Because this does not qualify as an Enkidu match. He didn't get to play. But yeah, that's a big problem, is that you want to use his 2-2-B because it's, besides 5-A, it's the only move he has that is not negative. That's how bad he is. He only has two moves in his entire arsenal that aren't negative. It's incredibly bad. But, um... Okay, this dude's name doesn't really ring a bell either. Ooh, but he got pro No, he got demoted. I was gonna say he got promoted because he's orange here and he's red there, but no, that means he got demo- Oh... That many matches played in 43%. Oof. Gotta, gotta feel it for the Enkidu players out there. But yeah, but the 2-2-B has a slow enough startup. There, I think there's only two moves that you can use where it's not um, punishable in between. If you just hit a button, you'll punish him for free in between. And I believe that is charged 6-C. And his, uh, I don't I can't remember what the hell it's called, but the special move each character has. Force function, yeah! I remembered at the end. But yeah, they have, I could give French bread, I mean, I'm sure they know, because you have that commissary guy who was very active on Enkidu for a while. I'm sure he's very well aware of all the weaknesses and flaws Enkidu has. But yeah, I could give them a laundry list of things to fix. His counter needs a lot of work. His frame data could stand to be a hell of a lot better. He's His Rekkas shouldn't be as disadvantageous as they are, nor should his throw. Uh, I mean, his damage is mostly okay. I don't think his damage is that big of a deal. He definitely does. It's very difficult for him to hit those peaks that many other characters can hit. But I would say, in general, uh, he has a higher average threshold. If you, if you're, if you know what you're doing. Unfortunately, a lot of Enkidus don't because most of the good players gave up on him very quickly because of what he is. I get him no, but that is plus, so it's not that big of a deal. See, so does he do the good one? He does the good one. That's a bullshit. And I'm kind of assuming, assuming, I'm kind of assuming 
that this Enkidu wins just because he uploaded it. And most people aren't really willing to upload replays of themselves losing. That's just how it works. And it blew my mind. I was watching a League of Legends streamer. And he actually tried to justify why throwing games to put himself into a lower rank was good. And his justification was that players would rather see me beasting on people than see me playing in, you know, close matches where I might be struggling a little bit because I'm against people of an even skill level. Or maybe they're even better than me. They get more pog champ if they just see me go nuts on people. And it's like... I mean, I don't know. Maybe people are that shallow? But when I see some shit like that, it's very, very clear. Like, dude, you don't belong here. You're just punching outside your weight class. There's nothing impressive about this. I don't want to be here for this shit. But it was amazing to hear this dude actually try to justify that mentality. That he would rather be in lower ranks because it makes it makes him look better because he beats up people easier. It's just... Oh, that's pathetic. Like, I just can't do that, man. Doesn't matter what kind of game I'm playing. If I'm playing against somebody who is notably worse than me my mind immediately checks out. I want no part of it. Because there's nothing for me to learn. There's nothing for me to get from all this. Alright, so I need to be looking for... We Did we skip this? No, we did not. Oh, here it is. This is the one. Why is it so far down, then? Because we watched Enkidu vs. Seth first, and then we had Hyde vs. Wagner. And we watched... No, we didn't watch that. Did we watch this? Shit, I need to go back to that. Hang on. Wait, why am I saying this? If if I if no, then we're gonna wind up watching. I do distinctly remember this. I don't. Oh god damn it! Now I have to. Cause I wanna. <laughs> damn it! I wanna uh, see if this Nanase versus Ori replay was in there. Cause if it wasn't, then I wanna see it. Cause I feel like I remember Nanase versus uh, Phonon. I definitely remember something to do with Phonon. Let's check this out real quick. Hyde vs. Wagner, Mika vs. Akatsuki. Okay, so Mika vs. Akatsuki. That's that right there. Gordo vs. Eltonum? Yep, Nanase vs. Phonon. So we did skip this one. And then it was the Yuzuriha vs. Carmine, which is all the way down here. Alright, yeah, we're watching. Wait, we already had an Ori. Alright, let me just check and see. Okay, I don't want to see Akatsuki. Oh, but this is a higher ranked Nanase. She... No, we already had the Yuzu as well. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go for the higher rank Nanase. Who was it? Who are they against? Nanase vs. Ori and Nanase vs. Akatsuki. Never mind, I'm watching this. Fuck Akatsuki. <laughs> He's just a silly ass guest character. Doesn't even belong in this game. It's not even his game. Fuck him. Alright, where are we at? How much time has it been? 27 minutes? I'm gonna probably watch the Waldstein one. I don't know, because he was fairly low points if I can find a better one. I'll go with that. Ooh, very good confirm. And they're going for the fireball. I always like to see this. I always, oh, he dropped it. It's always so remarkably disappointing. Damn! This Nanase did like half of, like three quarters of a real combo and got some random scattered hits in there. And this Ori traded twice with her rapier thrust and they're even on life <laughs> what the hell that shouldn't happen he just did it he just did it and it worked oh no you gotta feel for that poor Ori that graphic is terrible <laughs> Nanase's fireball was actually too slow to be dealt with. That, uh, little aura around Ori's dude, whatever the hell that thing is, it does cancel out all projectiles on the screen, but it was actually too slow. <laughs> Nanase's projectile was too slow. So her throw, if you do that and her projectile hits during the throw, her throw actually does less damage. I think it does like 16-something raw. But... If you, uh, if the projectile hits in the middle of it, you actually get less damage from the throw. It's pretty phenomenal. Damn, that Nanase went in. 
it feels like so many matches, they just feel so one-sided in this game. It's so difficult once you're put on the defensive to actually come back and do anything. So let's see, is there a better... I mean, I could just... Damn, they're all so low ranked. Holy sh... Oh, here we go. Look at this! Almost a month in between! Oh, that hurts. We've probably already seen this one then. All the way back from October 11th? Holy shit. Oh, that just makes me sad. And they're releasing this game two weeks after Dragon Ball Fighters. God damn it. I wonder who made that decision. Like, whoever made that decision doesn't like this game. There's no way whoever made that decision has love for this game. Could you imagine if it had come out like December like 12th or something? I don't know what's taking them so because it's basically been radio silence, right? Like we have no as far as I'm aware, there's no information about like Oh yeah, this is what happened, this is why it took us so long. Uh, to get this game out. You know, we said it was going to be winter of 2017. But, or I think they just said late 2017, whatever. And this is why it's not, it didn't come out then, and instead it's going to come out in February of 2018. I don't think we have any information about that, but I would really like to know why. Because from a strictly business standpoint, it would actually be better just delay the game for like two months. Just forget about it, because now they're dealing with Street Fighter V Arcade Edition. And Dragon Ball Fighters. Like, just... This combo's doing fucking damage. Could he kill with that? He had 100 meter. I don't think any of his supers really do that much damage from a minimum damage standpoint, so probably not. But, goddamn. If he had Veil off, or whatever the hell it's called, the special version where you have to use Grid, he probably could have. But he did not have that. Corner. Moves like that are so insane. You just get free corner like good god. It's horrifying. Who could overhead and he gets the change it? Oh, he drops the combo. I think she was dead if he hadn't dropped that. Oh, uh, you can't be. Oh, he's probably just gonna be mashing out. Yep. I mean, I'm surprised he didn't just do it raw. But that's what I was expecting. I'm very surprised he didn't just throw it out raw. Who's a character that I like? You know, we've had everybody. We've had Yuzu, we've had Ori, Akatsuki. Not Akatsuki, Jesus Christ. Just kill me. And keep. Yeah, this, oh, there we go. From 11, we've probably already seen this one, but you know what? I'm going back in for it. These are two very, very high. 84.69% win rate over 2,856 matches. This is that Gordeaux. No wonder he sucks with Gordeaux. He's, wait.
I want to see some Wagner, but this dude's clearly hit a rough patch because he's been demoted down to orange. And he had, was I can't remember if he was the 43% or the 46%, but either way, he's using EQ. Life is rough. People who pick Wagner, they pick correctly. They pick the correct new character. I think that's just kind of the key to everything. If I get excited over a character, avoid them at all costs. Sometimes I get lucky. Sometimes the world fucks up. Like Asriel. He wound up being a top tier. But most of my picks wind up being pretty shit. Who's no, nah, never mind. Street Fighter 5. I played Cammy and Chun Li. But then Alex. And Jerry. So I'm 50 50 on those. He's not doing too bad right now, but I don't know what she was scared of. Maybe a wake-up counter? I feel like if you're scared of wake-up counter, just throw them on wake-up. He doesn't have anything that counters throws. Beautiful. Oh my god, she gets a full combo off that. That is really good corner carry. And a full combo. Don't want to get shield broken like that yet, yeah, and that puts her back in the corner. That should not have whiffed. That's not okay. I wonder if she was still in block stun, maybe? I can't actually remember the sequence of events that led to that, but I feel like that was a throw that should have hit. I'm very tired right now, so that's I may be missing some things, but that didn't look right at all. Oh, she could have punished that so hard if she hadn't jumped. She definitely has normals in her arsenal that would have allowed her, allowed her to punish that, but that's okay. It works out regardless. That's another problem with Kidu. He doesn't really have real throw setups. They're all really obvious. Oh, oh, do it again. Didn't do it again, it would have worked. Sometimes you just gotta go for it, man. Three, four, five times in a row, just do it. Because a lot of the times, that's the mentality of people. They won't do this again. Surely they won't do this again. This time, they're going to mix it up. Sometimes the mix-up is to not mix it up. Oh, got the back dash. Yeah, Wagner's a really good character. So did our boy and Kidu, did he even win one? I can't even remember. Struggle. Man, it's a damn struggle. Thank you for watching. Really appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed the matches. I did. Except the Akatsuki one. I wish that didn't exist. Fuck me.